uh, and let you guys see what it is that I'm experiencing. Um, trying to get a direct measurement with a handheld uh, Kestrel anemometer here. We'll see what we can pick up, but uh, what in this, this thing's uh, changing. When a tornado worn cell came through the neighborhood and it brought down several large pines, just like the one you're seeing right here behind me. To give you a sense of what the aftermath of storm damage smells like, it smells very heavily of pine and also sounds like chainsaws. We have another tree down here. This one just barely missing this brick home. I mean, this is incredible. Let me turn the camera around. It gets back into kind of a dry view. And I get up here and all of a sudden storm surge started. And all of a sudden, I ended up about four feet of water. I'm Scotty Powell here reporting just outside of Sparta, North Carolina, where you've seen a lot of the earthquake damage. Again, a 5.1 magnitude earthquake rocked Sparta, uh, North Carolina earlier this morning, just after 8 a.m. If you're gonna look at the footing of that, you'll see where the, it was a twist. Very severe wind to cause the destruction. From Gaston County to back here in Mecklenburg County, those were just two of the tornado warnings that were issued here for the greater Charlotte area. I'm not one for hyperbole, but it's countless at this point. There's trees on houses. There's a lot of roads that are blocked. We're just trying to get cleaned up so people can get through. Have you ever seen the Dan River like this before? No, not that I can recall. I mean, I've seen it fairly flooded before, but I've never seen it to where it's where we're now kind of asking ourselves, okay, a couple more feet and it might uh, get over those bridges. 